And welcome back to Jesse Miller Field, just moments away from the start of the Week 3 game, the 76th matchup between the visiting Williams College Eves and the host Trinity College Bantams. For everybody at NSN Sports, including our sideline reporter Taylor Foy and our cameraman and producer Ryan Nye, I'm Jake Donnelly. So glad you're joining me here. It's about 56 degrees in Hartford, Connecticut, field, if you're just joining us, we already went over the starters, but I'll get through them pretty quick here from left to right along the offensive line. Jeremy Subjinski, Mike Ludwig, Ellis Eaton, Patrick Watson, and Carson Salveston. The tight end is Justin Burke, number 31, is in motion here. Near side, Mamron, he loses it, and the Bantams will pick it up immediately. On the fumble recovery, it's Brandon Blaze. Blaze's first career Fumble recovery, and after a great start, defensively for the East, their offense gives the ball right up. So now the Bantams come out with three wide to the far side. Hirschman, the big tight end, is tight on the left. Schofer is the nearest, uh, nearest wide receiver in the three-man set. Another handoff to Chaporis. Good hole. He scoots through, and there goes Chaporis. Max Chaporis, 17 yards to pay dirt, and the Bantams make the fumble hurt. Chaporis' fourth touchdown of the season, his 23rd career, and it's 6-0 Bantams. Bantams showing blitz. As in motion, that's Joey Volp. Mamoron has a man first down. Justin Nelson to the Bantams 40 yard line. They needed seven, they got 10. Mamoron, good block on the near side as Libby got up and did. He's got a man and it's complete. Inside the 20, once again, it's Justin Nelson. Down to the 15 yard line, it's good for 22. This is going to be a 28, 29 yard field goal. Bad snap, the kick is up and the kick is good. So for the first time this season, the Bantams defense has allowed points. It's a field goal by Park. A 28 yard field goal and Min Q Park, the freshman out of Seoul, Korea, now two for four in his young career. So the Bantams start from the 27. Bantam's in the pistol, that's Chaporis behind Puzo to play action. Wide open is Schofer, and Schofer gets tackled at the 40. That pass was, I hope I don't overthrow him. That should have been a touchdown, but the Bantams will take it. And then the Bantams went backwards each of their next three plays. McDonald, another bad punt. That hits off of an Eve player that's a muff, so it cannot be advanced. It's going to be Bantams' ball. This ball should be back at the 17-yard line. It looked like it hit off of the helmet of Justin Sim. Come back. Bantams come out in a similar formation, with the exception of an extra lineman to the right side. Puzo for Schofer. Did he get in? Yes, he did. Colby Schofer, his second touchdown reception of the season, and the Bantams are back up by 10. It's 13 to 3. Double tight end with a wing back and Foster in motion. Here's Connor Harris who bounces it off of the left tackle. And he'll get to the 39-yard line before Max Patry shoves him out. Really, the only success for the East thus far in this game has been Connor Harris out of the backfield. Mamoron rolls out to the right side. Cardi Campbell hits him. Burke with the catch spins up field, and that's going to be into Bantam's territory. And there's a flag on the play. It may be a late hit by Campbell. It's roughing the passer on Cardi Campbell. Receiver. Mamron is looking near side. He's going to get flushed from the pocket, and he pitches it to Harris down to the 19-yard line. What a play 
on the improv there by Maymaron. And it's first and 10 with 26 seconds to go. Maymaron, the fade, near side, it's intercepted! Matt Patry intercepts it in the back corner of the end zone. And for Patry, that's his first career interception in his pocket. So that will do it for us for the first half here at Jesse Miller Field. Bantams 14. It is the Eves 3, a 17-yard. This is where Justin Nelson has been so good so far today. Look for the number 13. It's a screen across the formation. There's Nelson, and Nelson is going to get enough for the first down, and it's going to be 15 more for a face mask penalty on the Bantams. So, second and 10 from the 34-yard line. Steve Bowling now in at running back. Maymaron up the seam, and he's got Nelson. And Nelson's down to the 15. 15 yards, another first down. That's the third first down on the drive for the Eves. May Moran jukes the first man. That was Cardi Campbell. And he's got Harris inside the five, and Harris is in. Touchdown, Eves. They go 78 yards in two minutes and 21 seconds. And it's 14 to 9. Puzo with the hard count. Looks near side. And Hatter's going to sack him at the 28 yard line. Chris Hatter, his second sack of the season and the 11th of the year for the Eves. And the Bantam's offense continues to go in the wrong direction. Puzo down the seam. He's got a man, and it's Gerard out to the 46-yard line, and he makes the catch as he gets Kamali crunched. Looks like the Bantams come out and slots to each side. Hand off to Chaporis. Chaporis has a hole off the right tackle, and there's some daylight across the 40. Stays on his feet before he's twisted out of bounds at the 36-yard line. This is going to be about a 46-yard field goal. Four sacks. He has hit 67 straight kicks between field goals and extra points. 13 for 13 last year, one for one this year. Can he keep the streak going? The kick is up. The kick is good! Eric Sacks is an absolute machine. A 46-yard field goal. His longest career field goal. And he's now hit 68 straight kicks. And the Bantams, more importantly, are up by eight. And the Bantams' average margin of victory has been 29 points per game during the last three meetings. Puzo looking for the seed pattern. Schofer again is open, same as Foster. Foster is wide. Oh, that's Gerard, excuse me. And Gerard is open at the 36. That's a gain of 32 yards on the pass from Puzo to Gerard. Play action. Puzo gets hit as he throws. He's got a man wide open at the 10. Bantam's offense finally moving. That time it was Spears. Two-yard line. This is the big boy lineup yet again. Three tight ends now on the field for the Bantams. Hand off to Chaporis, and Chaporis punches it home. Wait, a flag on the play right at the line of scrimmage. It's almost impossible to hold on those types of plays, but the Bantams' offensive line apparently did so. And Jeff Devaney and Mark Melnitsky. And that's going to be on Clifford David, who was on the left side of the line. David was lined up tight. And the Bantams have been banged for a bunch of penalties in this one. That one might be the most dubious of them all. Hirschman, the big tight end, number 87 out to the far side. Puzo rolls out, and that's a lot of contact. 
Oh, the field judge had his hand in his pocket and then put it back. Hand up. But it goes uncalled, and now here is Sacks from 26. Good snap, good hold. The kick is no good. The first missed kick in 69 attempts for Eric Sachs. What? Regensburg back at his own three guard line. Spears and Bolu are right at about the spot where Medina would have intercepted it. And the Bantams will get extra yardage out of this. Bolu across the 40. He's got a little bit of a wall into the East territory. Bolu stays on his feet and a flag is down. Colin Ballou is going to cut his way and dive to the three. It looked like clean blocks from the Bantams at the point of impact. But once Ballou cut free, a flag came out behind the cut at the 45. There wasn't a block in the back from what I could tell. And it didn't look like much of a hold either. And Dominique Seegers is going to get called for a blindside block, so it was neither a hold nor a block in the uh, uh, block in the back. McDonald averages just a little under forty yards per punt, but today he has barely reached thirty yards per punt. Bantams need a good one. This isn't what this isn't it. 35 yard line. So that's a punt of 27 yards by Ian McDonald. Three minutes, 29 seconds to go in Hartford. Eves have two timeouts left. They need a touchdown and they need a two-point conversion. Yard line. Harris behind Maymaron. Maymaron up the same, it's intercepted! Cardi Campbell! Campbell trying to get the corner! Connor Harris takes him down from behind, but Cardi Campbell picks Maymaron! It's the first career interception for Cardi Campbell. Talk about a perfect time to come up with it. So the Bantams eke out a victory over a very game Williams College Eves squad. The Bantams 17, the Eves 9. The Bantams have now won the last seven minutes between these two teams and now hold a 38 to 36 and 2 record all time over the Eves. The Bantams have won 10 out of the last 11, but this one was a defensive battle and then some.